good fucking morning guys <laughs> this episode almost didn't make it but um we are here i said i was gonna do one to two episodes per week unfortunately this week i was only able to do this episode um yeah i just was kind of out of it coming back from vegas and stuff i needed just to get reacclimated and shit like that um yeah i just finished packing an order I wanted to do it on camera, but being that this video is only 20 minutes long, I didn't want to, like, multitask that much. Because uh, I know how I get when I start talking. But, um, I am not sure what to talk about, honestly. Um, but one thing I am, I feel like I want to talk about is, like, I'm having some, some issues with my apartment. So basically, I have mold in my bathroom. I have, I believe it's black mold. I'm not too sure. But it's on the ceiling, and it's been getting worse and worse. It's really bad. Now, some of y'all may know that I've been, like, going to all these doctor's appointments for A, B, and C, blah, blah, blah. That's my coffee and the cookies. Mm. Um, so, I've been going to all these different doctor's appointments. Cardiologists, I've been to respiratory, like, for my lungs. I've been, um, recently went to get, like, um, ultrasound on my legs and my arms, blah, blah, blah. So, they found that I have poor circulation in my legs and I had to, like, I have to get a total of four shots, but I, I've recently just got one. And basically what they do is they open up the blood vessel to help the blood circulate back up to the heart. Because apparently I was having issues with my blood coming back up and it was basically pooling at my legs. And that's why some people have swelling and stuff in their legs. So that may be something that y'all want to look into if y'all having issues. I also had issues with... um. Shortness of breath, like labored breathing. Um, I genuinely feel just with the one shot that I got, I feel different. Like my breathing isn't so forced. It's not like I'm forcing it. Um, I was going up the steps the other day and I'm so used to like heaving or like breathing mad hard that when I was going up the steps, I was kind of forcing myself to do that just because out of habit. Like that's what I normally do. And I'm like, why are you breathing so hard? <laughs> like, I dead felt like, oh, okay, that wasn't hard to climb steps. Like what the fuck? I feel the left side of my body way more. Um, okay. This side, it was kind of like, Things were I I felt sensations on my left side, but it wasn't as much as I felt on my right side. And I feel like over the years it would have gotten worse. Um. So long story short, all these little things that's going on, and they're not necessarily major, but I feel like they would have if I'm not handling it now. I feel like once I hit 40, 45 or some shit like that, that they would have been worse, um, gotten worse. So I have the black mold in my bathroom and I'm like, I don't know all this time. I don't know if these things are occurring or these issues are occurring because I have mold in my house or if I had COVID or because of the, when I got that, um, the shot that they were mandating, I don't want to say the B word, um, I, there's no way in this instance to tell whether what is what, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I've decided to try to pursue a legal case against my building because the super has been in here. He has, um, notated that there's been mold. He's said it a uh, numerous amount of times. Um, they've had people come in here during the pandemic like this, I don't know if they were Russian, they sound Russian, but it was like this company. It was a whole bunch of Russian men that came in and was exploring my house. 
and they saw the shit in the bathroom. So, you know, I don't get why nothing was done. Um, the last time the guy came and inspected my house, the mold was there. So the mold has been there. Um, and it's just been getting worse. Now, fast forward, there is a leak in my kitchen. <coughs> um, apparently, the person from the fifth floor, every time they fill their tub up, will take a shower. Um, if they fill it up to a certain um, amount, the water leaks down. And it's it leaked from, from her floor to the fourth floor. It skipped the third and the second floor, and it came to my uh, apartment, and then it came to... Um, the basement. So the, the only reason why they knew that the place was flooding is because it was, um, flooding the basement, leaking in the basement and the super noticed it. And I guess one of the days I wasn't here, he knocked on the door. So when I came back, um, it was a, like the paint started to bubble up and he had to like pop the, like pop the paint and let all the water out, and then he um, took all that paint off, so it's just like this big-ass thing there with no paint on it, and there's a hole in it, because he kind of opened up the hole more um, to make sure that the water goes into this bowl that I have sitting there. But they still haven't fixed that particular person's thing, so they can't fix my ceiling unless they fix whatever's going on on the fifth floor. <sighs> So I was running into a uh, pushback. I was running into issues because I was trying to like find lawyers or somebody to help me with this mold thing. And, um, they were like, Oh, is it, is it city housing or how long has this happened? So I was kind of getting all this pushback. So I found this one particular, um, law office and it was like, do you have issues, um, that are related to the mold? And I, I just said, yes. Um, and it was like, okay, well, you have to bring that documentation in and then you can give us a call back or you got, you have to collect that documentation and then give us a call back. So I was like, okay. So yeah, I've set up an appointment with my primary care. Um, and hopefully they go do that mold. They do the mold testing or whatever needs to be done. Um, and then I go from there because I don't know how this has affected my son either. Like this is getting ridiculous. Um, and to, to be honest enough, the building is usually good with, um, <clears throat> repairs, but I've been noticing like since the pandemic, they haven't been really on it. So yeah. Um, how many minutes is that? Eight minutes. I don't know if I'm going to make it to 20 minutes in this video, guys. I got to ship this girl's order. Got to go to the gym. Um, Monday I'm getting another shot in my leg. Uh, I'm going to see if they're going to do the right leg. So I could do the top of each leg first and then the bottom of each leg. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be out of commission for two, three days again after Monday. My son's birthday is February 7th. Um, I'm going to be getting him a new phone. Uh, he's getting a tattoo on his forearm. He wants a tattoo. And, um, yeah. Pretty sure my friends or his uncle or whatever is going to get him some stuff or send him some money. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been dealing with. I've been dealing with that mold thing. So I guess I'm telling y'all because if y'all know anybody or know any lawyers um, that you could personally recommend because of course I can easily do a, a Google search, but that's what I've been doing. And I kind of been getting this like, Oh, I'm going to call you back or, you know, we don't do that or whatever the situation is. So I, if y'all know, like if y'all dealt with something like this or, or have a recommendation where y'all can send me to somebody or give me somebody's number that can help me. I would be greatly appreciative because I need somebody to kind of walk me through what I need. It's very vague when you look up mold lawyers and what you need or whatever. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, that's what I'm dealing with. Um, another thing is my job wanted me to have... 
I don't know if you guys know, I think I mentioned it, but I left my job in September. I had decided that it would be in my best interest at that time to leave that job. Um, and rightfully, rightfully so, because I've been going to like two, three appointments at a time. Look at this shit. Hold on. I had an appointment January 17th, January 19th, January 20th. I got an appointment February 13th, February 14th. I got an appointment February 16th and an appointment, um, May 26th and an appointment February 22nd. So my job is basically it's a job. I understand that they can't allot you all of these days off, but it was just like, I had to make a decision. Do I address my health issues or do I continue to go to work and just keep putting it on the back burner? You know, jobs only give you a certain amount of sick days or a certain amount of days where you can call out. Imagine all of these appointments that I would have had to go to. Is there an appointment on the back? Mm. Imagine all of these appointments I would have had to go to while I'm working. And you know they how they these jobs are. They would reprimand you. They'll give you write-ups and all this extra shit simply because you are having health issues. So I just decided to not go back in. I didn't officially quit. It never sent me a termination letter, but I didn't officially quit. But I just know that my benefits were cut off. My insurance were cut, was cut off. So I took that as a, okay, well... Clearly, I'm terminated because I'm not receiving any health benefits or anything like that. But um, I may be wrong. They may have just terminated my insurance because it's no longer I'm no longer receiving a check, and those um, I paid for my insurance in my um, union uh, fees from my check. So they served me a fucking letter. They had somebody knock on my door and serve me a letter. Um, and the paper said that it was an informal meeting that they want to have with me on March 2nd. An informal meeting. So I'm going to go in that meeting with all my documentation and I'm going to show them. You guys wanted me to come back into the office and I have preferred to work remote because at the time I needed to work remote. Um, and secondly, I would have been calling out a ridiculous amount of times or telling you I needed A, B, and C days off. So if you guys cannot accommodate that, then I don't need to be working here. Let me go. Okay. So yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of at a crossroads because although I haven't been working, I've been able to self-sustain not only through my savings, but yeah, you guys know that I have a business, but it is kind of like draining. You know what I'm saying? It is kind of like I got used to getting my check, putting some to the savings, uh, putting some in an investment account, putting some in another investment account. I had all these ways where I was like, um, building my money. Um, and I had all these benefits and stuff like that, but like I said, my health was like, I wasn't able to address my health issues. So now I'm at a place where it's all backed up and I got to check my heart, check my thyroid, check my breathing, check my leg, like all of this because I was at work and I couldn't really call off the way I needed to call off. So, um, March 2nd, I'm hoping by then a lot of these appointments I get kind of out the way. So that way I can go in there and, and really make a decision as to whether I want to continue working, if that's an option. Because I don't, they could be getting me in there and, and lowering me and be like, sign these papers, you, you're fired. Um, so I don't know. Um, but if, if, if it is an option for me to continue working, um, I need to really consider consider that for now. Um, and the only reason why I would like honestly really consider it is because I wanted to buy a house. Um, yeah, it's time for me to move on. It's been time for me to move on. And I kind of hit this roadblock between choosing my job or my mental and physical health. 
and I just chose, of course, my mental, my physical health. Um, so I do feel like I'm in a, in a place where I would be able to work, um, but I just need to, I have all these doctor's appointments. I do. <laughs> like, what are they going to do? What's going to be done? I'm supposed to just not go? Oh, I know I look like a mess. This is a do-rag, guys. So, for y'all who um, wear braids and y'all yeah, don't like those big-ass bonnets, because they do have big-ass bonnets that accommodate, but those bonnets be sliding off. Um, what I do is I wear a do-rag, and it basically covers the top like this i've been messing up and like when i'm in the daytime when i go to lay down i don't be having a do-rag on so the braids on this side be looking crazy it's looking crazy but anyways i guess i did good because i had no clue what i was going to talk about y'all but whatever <laughs> uh good fucking morning it was lovely talking to you guys or whatever um my skin looking good this mark is getting lighter uh, even with no lashes and no eyebrows like that, I'm still cute or whatever. Um, yeah, so I have some good videos coming up within the next few months. I can't say exactly when. Um, but yeah, you guys will be seeing certain things, meeting certain people, going certain places with me. Um, I don't want to speak too soon on it, but um, I'll be back.